episode 475 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. I'll be talking about tonight's WWE NXT Heat Wave. Right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Welcome, wrestling fanatics, to this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in on this Tuesday night. While it is still August 22nd, I forgot to mention this on this morning's episode of Good morning, wrestling fans. But if you're a longtime listener of 360 Wrestling Fanatic or a longtime viewer of the 360 Wrestling Podcast YouTube channel, you know Bruiser Brody. Been on the unboxing videos and a couple other videos. Today was his birthday. So, if you want, you can go ahead and leave in the comments for my nephew, Bruiser Brody. Happy birthday in the comment section, either right here on Spreaker, YouTube, or whichever podcast website you listen to on. I'm sure that'll mean a lot to him. I'm sure he'll enjoy it. I'll show him all the comments if we get any. Just a happy birthday wish. That's all you gotta do. And now let's get into tonight WWE NXT Heat Wave. And NXT Heat Wave was live from the Capitol Performance Center or Capitol Wrestling Center, which is the WWE Performance Center. And our commentators tonight, Vic Joseph and Booker T. And we kick things off on Heat Wave tonight. Eli Dragunov defeated Trick Williams. Not a bad match here but like I've said before here on the podcast I wouldn't really say that I'm a real big fan of Elon Dragunov I, I'm sure a lot of people do like him but for some reason I'm just not really feeling him Ivy Nile defeated Ava and she went to do more after the match but then she was saved by two of the masked members of Schism and to skip ahead a little bit we seen her outside with those two members she cut a promo and then we go back to them. And then we see Ivy Nile. And she goes to sick the two schism members after Nile. But it turns out they're the Creed brothers. And Nile uh, attacks Ava. And they kidnap her. And tell schism if they want to see Ava again. They will get a match next week in a steel cage 
And if they win, they get back in the NXT. I know this it, NXT is separate from the main roster. But I'm kind of surprised that they're doing this cage match now. Since they've already scheduled Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch in a cage match for the Payback Premium Live event one week from the Sunday. But I guess their thinking about it is probably that it's uh, a separate NXT and the main roster. Also, Noam Dar defeated Nathan Frazier to win the NXT Heritage Championship. Lyra, li, yeah, sorry, can't talk. Lyra, Lyra, whatever her name is. Sorry, Lyra Valky Valkyria and Dragon Lee defeated. Rhea Ripley and Dirty Dom, Dominic Mysterio, mixed tag action. And in the main event for the NXT Championship, the champion Carmelo Hayes successfully defended against Wes Lee. So that was tonight's NXT Heat Wave. I thought it was an alright show. There were some good matches but I wouldn't say it was really anything that great, though. But it was all right. Worth watching anyway. I'd have to give it 7 out of 10 ring bells as an overall show. And now that we have talked about NXT... Heat wave tonight. Let's get into a little bit of pro wrestling news. Kyrie and Sari Ono Ano will be taking on Sari and Uganagi Unagi Saka at All Japan September eighth. Which, of course, not too long ago it was reported that Kyrie Sane will be returning to WWE soon, as soon as she finishes up her dates in Japan. And... Chris Jericho has announced that he will play Judas live this Sunday at AEW All in London. So I'm guessing that's going to be his entrance, maybe. And that looks about it for the news today. And that's all for this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic 475. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Once again, leave your birthday wishes for Bruiser Brody, my nephew. You've seen him on the YouTube channel before. In unboxing videos and other boxing videos. I know the day is almost over now, but I'll show them all the comments that we get. Wish him a happy birthday. He'll appreciate it. Also, while you're there in the comment section, leave your feedback for tonight's NXT Heatwave Special. And also, leave your predictions for AEW. All in London this Sunday. I will be back hopefully tomorrow night with a new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. 
talking about tomorrow night's AEW Dynamite. And before that, though, tomorrow morning, the Wednesday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans, where I will preview tomorrow night's AEW Dynamite, the go-home before All In. And that's all for this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. We'll talk to everyone tomorrow morning for GMWF. But until then, I am Lance and I am a wrestling fanatic.